Space Explorers between the lines in three, two, one, go! Very quick start to this qualification match. Blue Alliance robots already trying to place hatch panels onto their cargo ship. We're gonna find two of the Blue Alliance robots against the far side rocket ship for their side of the field. Team 1986 successfully placing it as the drivers now have clear visibility onto the field. Rookie team out of Las Vegas, Team 7424. Now on the blue line side of the field, facing that green robot, Team 1986, Team Titanium. Team 7424 just not letting any of those blue alliance robots get to the base of that rocket ship. Team 6444, the Chihuahua team, now on the defensive position for the blue alliance over on the red side of the field. That robot's waiting for Team 2478 to make a move so they can get in their way. 34 to 33, one point difference. The Red Alliance in the lead, now blue, overtaking them. Less than 80 seconds left to go in the match. Westwood Robotics with another cargo in the ship for the Red Alliance. Team 2928, wonderful team out of Washington, continuing to do work on the Blue Alliance cargo ship unimpeded so far. Follow-up cargo now trying to be placed by 1986 of the Blue Alliance. 45 all, now the Red Alliance with another two points coming out ahead so far in qualification match number 22. This could be anybody's game. We'll find out soon enough. Most of the robots on the same side of the field Team 25-51 with yet another score in the cargo for the Red Alliance. And with that, the Reds' cargo ship has now been completed and is ready for liftoff in T-20. That Blue Alliance robot still playing defense over on the near side of the field. These teams preparing their in-game strategies. It's a full jump up to level two. Three seconds left to go. Red Alliance trying to get a robot up there to level three. Boost into the skies first with a win of 76 to 69. Both alliances will get one rank point for the half line at the end of the match. Qualification match number 23 coming your way in just